Hello everyone, this is Marcel Vilasa. I'm here to talk to you about planning and actual cost in Fiori. Before I go ahead and post actual plan values, I will show you the difference from versions which was used in SAP GUI and the categories. This is a new object in Fiori. So let's take a look here what I have prepared for you. Here, version versus category in S4 HANA plain actual cost. So first of all, I'll show you version versus category, which is the difference. Planned cost display, I'm gonna display planned cost in SAP GUI and display planned cost in Fiori. Then we need to do a change in here. I'm, I'm gonna explain why we have to change the characteristic of the table. Uh, we, we have the option to fetch data from store data. We have the option to store data in ACDoc A, ACDoc B, or from InfoCubes, which is used in interface from BW into the costing controlling. And at the end, we are going to run the Fiori apps to populate costs in Fiori after everything related characteristics is ready. Okay. In this first moment, we have a comparison here, version versus category. Before we go ahead to the system, let's take a look here in the comparison with SAP GUI in Fiori. In SAP GUI, we have the traditional version. Here, the plain actual version is zero. Uh, this is a transaction code to display uh, actual plan cost by cost centers and cost element. In theory, plan cost center on periods is one of transaction to display the cost and plan the cost as well. Here we have highlighted in, in, in the theory, the category PLN, which is referred to the plan cost. In every plan actual report in Fiori, we have category as well, which can be planned cost, budgeting, forecasting, and different objects to control amounts, print strategies in cost controlling as an internal management. Here we have a workbook on apps. This is a chart containing comparisons with different info providers. We have three info providers here, ERP slash SFIN score V01, R01 and V20. We are gonna use V20 because we want to store the planned cost in the AC doc P. Also, we can use previously if you are working not with planned data or uh, if you are working with a kind of interface from InfoCubes BW, right? Now let's gonna take a look in SAP GUI the plan actual report here for cost centers and cost elements. So I'm gonna select here the transaction code and I will put period seven, a cost center selected here, 1710-0200. Cost elements gonna be 6100-3000. Okay, just to execute. Uh, as we can see in the version zero, the version entry in selection screen for plan actual variance, we got actual cost here in 1000. So what we are gonna do right now is I'm gonna plan around 1500 to value. I will keep the version zero plan actual version same period, uh, cost center 1710-0200, and cost element 6100-3000, okay? Um, I'm gonna display this. Now I will put manually a cost center plan here, a fixed plan cost centers. We got variance, we got several, everything here in these transactions, but in a simple way, I just added a planned cost back here to cost center actual plan variance. Okay, I'm gonna head run it again. Right now we can see planned cost. 
Now we are gonna see the display costs in Fiori. Let's see. Here in Fiori Launchpad, I'm gonna select the cost center plan actual equivalent to that transaction code S underscore ALR underscore 8701-3611. And then uh, here fiscal year, I will add fiscal year, posting period was seven. Now the difference, we no longer have the ver version zero for play and actual variance. Here in category, this new object, we have several entries with actual cost, budget, uh, uh, fixed manufacturing order. We have here prediction values, revenue, forecasting, and so on. Right now, I'm going to select the PLN, which is the plant cost. Those categories as, uh, are customizable. Then you can go to SPRO. Here is the version is as for HANA on premise. Uh, I will add here our cost center. Well, the report in actual amount 1000. Yeah, this is it. But the plan amount is not displaying here. The reason is because version is not equivalent in categories here in Fiori. So it's not enough to populate versions. We need to populate the plan categories. Then I'll go back here, the main screen. Now let's take a look here, plan cost center on periods. In this application, I can check the amounts entered for planned costs. I'm going to put here the cost center. What else? The GL account is no need to populate here because my GL account has no planned data because version is not equivalent here to category. Uh, here we have some planned data already in place. We can, if you want, we can clean plan and we can open here the the output list down here to manually add cost as long as we can. And then period by period. Now we are gonna back to SAP GUI. Let's update the info provider. Then uh, we can go back here to check if plan and data is in place, okay? Okay, here in SAP GUI, let's join the transaction code RS plan. Okay, RS plan. Uh, here in the future, let's select any future that starts with ERP as fin. Let's take a look here. And um, we got lots of them. Plan data, cost center, planning on periods. I will click here, edit to update this future. In this screen, let's select info provider in info provider this we got two columns the first column here is uh written with the column header selection i will click here this first column selection after that i will change here my view i will change view for variables in variables we are going to change here info provider okay select info provider let's get the update of this. Okay, let's click next. One more time, next. Okay, I will click here to update default values. As you can see, according previous chart, um, here the first one, which is standard by default, we got InfoCube for plain data. If you are working with some interface to populate cost, we don't need to do anything here because this ERP as fin R01 is gonna work perfectly well. In our case here, we are populating data directly in cost controlling. We are gonna use an application to 
import plan data from a template. So I'm gonna use here this one. I will populate the ACDOCP asthma table. All right, then uh, updated this. Let's click here to confirm. I will save. And okay, the variant is updated this moment, right? Uh, right now, I will go back to Fiori. We are gonna populate here all the plain data using financial, import financial plain data, uh, which is an app that permits to create plain data for cost centers and cost elements in a massive way. Here, the bottom, we have the built and download templates. Then we have several options. The first option, cost center planning, is equivalent to our category PLN. Down here, we have different categories, plan data, budgeting, and so on. Let's select the first one, cost center planning. All right, cost center planning. I'm going to save in appropriated folder. Now I can open it. Okay, opening the file, we got a file with all columns together separated by comma. Let's convert this text to columns. We can do that since the file is CSV. As long as we save the file, comma is going to be the separator, separator automatically. And uh, this way, we can click here to select. Keep in mind, we have to put here categories in uppercase just to avoid errors further. And year 2022, period seven, company code, model company 1710, cost center, the same cost center was tested before. Cost element, the same as well, 6,100, 1,000. Amount, I would put here the amount 3,500 for this period. Global currency as well, uppercase. Uh, is unlimited the number of rules that I can enter here. Then I can include, in, I can vary uh, the cost center, uh, cost element, this case, I'm gonna change only the periods and uh, the amounts. Quite simple test. I will add the different periods as well here and uh, different amount just to highlight here. Okay, I will save. Now I will go back to my application. I will close this. In my application, I will select here source file, double click. Then the system said the message was imported. I can see the preview of the list. This is the file preview containing all columns. System has recognized the CCD file. At the bottom all the way right, we got import source file. Let's click import source file and the system successfully has imported. Let's check here the source file already imported. Financial plane data. By using financial plane data, I can check here the expense is 100, 3000, then uh, all the amount planned is already in place. Then my update previously uh, for the characteristic here, the info record works. Okay, let's go back to the main screen. Okay, here, let's take a look in plan cost center on periods. All right, I'll join the year 2022, BLN, cost center, the same we have entered the information from template. And I'll click go. We got here a total plan for 2022, 3,500. 
going to the right. Okay, now we can see period seven, period eight, period nine. Uh, we can click here inside if you want to clear planet data. We can click clear planet data and then we can add different planet data here. For example, 499, 599, 699 if you want. I'm not going to save, it's just for review, but we could see period 789 was populated from the template. I will click without save. Right now, cost center plan actual. I'm gonna join cost center plan actual here to display all data, planet data populated from the template. Periods gonna be seven, eight, nine, right? Fair enough. Right now, profit center, cost centers is gonna be 1710-0200. Zero two zero zero. Okay. All right. So we got actual amount, plan amount, difference over here. And uh, it's merged. I'm going to select at the side the posting period. Posting period is going to be in a row like this. Now I have different posting periods. As we can see, plan amount is gonna be 3,500, 4,500, 5,500. Initially, we had actual amount 1,000 for period seven. So because this, we got a calculation of a difference and the percentile of a difference. All right, back here. Thank you for watching for whole video. And uh, we have seen today a comparison of from SAP GUI plain actual variance using versions and your launchpad using categories. We have seen categories is a customizable object uh, where it is combined with BW info providers. Then uh, we had an exercise here to switch info providers from InfoCube into ACDOCP as a source table. And then uh, what I have recommend to you, since you are running in S4 HANA on-premise, go ahead with Fiori only, and then get rid with the plan, old planet information from SAP GUI, because in the near future, if you decide to, to uh, implement different reports, such as analytics or BW, we are talking about same technology if you're not page already instead converting from versions into planet data in, in, in Fiori, which is gonna be an additional extra job to populate all the information on the fly, right? So this is it. Thank you a lot. See you next video.